in this video I am going to solve some applications the integration we learned in our previous video we want to use here in order to solve some real problems for example problem 1 let me read the problem the total supply of fuel available now and in the future is 1000 million barrels at time t years from now fuel will be consumed at the rate of this so this is the rate function 10 e to the power 0 0.05 t which is in million barrels per year now the question is how much fuel will be consumed in next 20 years so we know next 20 years means 0 to 20 next 0 is today and 20 is the upper limit and the rate function is this 10 e to the power 0 0.05 t dt so if you integrate or if you evaluate this integral you will get the fuel the country will consume in the next 20 years 10 is a is constant so you can put this 10 out of integration and integration of e to the power 0 0.05 t is e to the power 0 0.05 t divided by derivative of this power 0 0.05 t which is 0 0.05 and you need to put the upper limit here and lower limit here and this equal 10 divided by 0 0.05 first you need to replace t by the upper limit so it will be to the power 0 0.05 into 20 minus e to the power 0 0.05 into 0 which will be 0 and this equal 10 into 100 divided by 5 you can use your cal calculator e to the power 0 0.05 into 20 which is 1 minus e to the power 0 equal to 1 and this equal 200 200 into e minus 1 now e means the approximate value of e is 2.72 minus 1 or you can use your calculator so 200 into 2.72 minus 1 which will be 344 so this will be 344 million barrels and this is the result now the next one b how long will the supply of fuel last let the supply of fuel supply of fuel will last x years x years so according to the question we can write 0 to x since the supply of fuel will last x years so the upper limit will be x and the rate function you should write here 10 e to the power 0 0.05 t dt is equal the available supply is 1000 million barrels so this 1000 million barrels we let will last x years therefore the right hand side will be 1000 now uh, we can solve this integral equation to get x like before the integration of this part will be 10 divided by 0 0.05 e to the power 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टी जीरो टू एक्स विच इज इक्वल वन थाउजेंड वी कैन कैंसल दिस जीरो एंड दिस जीरो डिवाइडिंग बोथ साइड्स बाय टेन एंड नाउ दिस इम्प्लाइज ई टू दि पावर पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एक्स माइनस ई टू दि पावर जीरो विच इज इक्वल टू वन इज इक्वल वन हंड्रेड इन टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव विच इज फाइव and this implies e to the power 0.05x is equal 5 plus 1 6 now taking ln on both sides we can write ln e to the power 0.05x equal ln 6 and this implies 0.05x this power we can put Here as a coefficient into ln e, ln e equal to one, so we don't need to write ln e, ln six, and therefore x equal ln six divided by point zero five, and ln six divided by point zero five is equal thirty five point eight four. You can use your calculator to evaluate this x years. So the available supply will continue up to thirty-five point eight four years. That's all. And similarly, you can exactly solve this one. You see here the rate function also exponential function. And the first question is the total maintenance cost for the next. Ten years will be what? So it will be zero to ten, twelve e to the power point zero eight t dt. Like before, we can easily integrate it. Twelve divided by zero point zero eight e to the power zero point zero eight t. Zero to ten, and this equal twelve divided by or twelve into one hundred divided by eight e to the power point zero eight into ten point zero eight into upper limit. You should first put first minus if you put lower limit. In point zero eight into zero, it will be zero. E to the power zero. So this equal one fifty into e to the power point eight minus one. So using your calculator, the final result will be one eighty three point eight three, which will be in thousand th. And the second one, how long will it take for total maintenance cost to reach three hundred thousand dollar? Three hundred thousand dollar. Let it it will take x years. So according to the question, we can write zero to x twelve e to the power zero point zero eight t dt is equal three hundred. And this implies, like before, twelve divided by zero point zero eight e to the power zero point zero eight t lower limit zero upper limit x is equal three hundred. And this implies. e to the power 0.08x minus e to the power 0 which is 1 is equal 300 into 0.08 we can put we can put this one in the right side 
in the numerator and 12 will be denominator now this one we can also put in the right side one so now taking log on both sides we can write log or ln e to the power 0.08x which is equal which is equal 3 this calculation will be 2 plus 1 which is 3 so if I take ln it will be ln 3 ln 3 ln 3 now this power we can write as a coefficient 0.08x and ln e you don't need to write since ln e equal to 1 therefore x equal ln 3 divided by 0 0.08 which will be equal to 13.733 years 13.733 years so this is the answer and in our next video i will discuss some other problems thank you very much for your watching